stretch. And here they come for this year's $150,000 War on the Shore. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the 16th Battle of Lake Erie. Ready, aim, fire! It's General Arthur first away. Up on the outside, Gallo chip on the rail is Kendall Quest. They hit that clubhouse turn. And around the turn they go, General Arthur with the lead by a half. Along the rail, Kendall Quest. Gallo Blue Chip outside third. Art Dalling is sitting fourth. Abba Dabba do fifth. Intrepid Sealster sixth. Along the outside, Pilgrims firing. The early treader, Mr. Peabody. They head down to the quarter mile mark of the race. General Arthur with the lead. Now there's Gallo Blue Chip on the outside of quarter. In 26 and 1. On the far turn, and Gallo Blue Chip and Walter Case Jr. now clear. They've got that lead a length and three quarters. Around they come to the head of the lane. General Matt Arthur is sitting second a length and three quarters. Kendall Quest is their third. Now moving out, coming on as they approach the half. That's Art Dialing. Also coming off the rail, fifth. Abba Dabba Doo. Along the outside, Intrepid Sealster. Followed by Mr. Peabody. And Pilgrim's Fiery, the half. 54 and two fifth seconds. They go in the club turn now in her payoff half mile. And as they make the swing, it's Gallo Blue Chip out there by one. Up on the outside, Art Dialing along the rail, General Matt Arthur. Along the outside, Abba Dabba Doo is going three wide. And on the rail, Kendall Quest along the outside, Intrepid Silster. They're in the back stretch, going to the three quarters. And on the outside, Abba Dabba Doo is moving right up. Puts a neck on top, 122 and two. On the turn, they're coming home in the Battle of Lake Erie. Along the outside, Abba Dabba Doo. Gallarucha battles back on the inside. Right there to the outside, Intrepid Silster and Campbell third. They're in the top of our break lane. And Gallo Blue Chip has retaken the lead. Has it a length and a half. Abba Dabba Doo on the outside. Here comes Intrepid Silster. It's Gallo Blue Chip fighting to the wire in 151 to tie the track record again. The photo sign is up. Hold all tickets until the result is official. Presentation of this year's Battle of Lake Erie champion. On behalf of Northfield Park, we have President Myron Cherna, accompanied by Chief Operating Officer and Executive Vice President Tom Aldrich. And just a reminder, there are still three races remaining on tonight's 15 race live card, including the upcoming second division of the Ohio Cyrus Stakes three year old Colt Pace. And now let's head down to the winner's circle to Dave Bianconi with a very happy Walter Case Jr. Thank you very much, Greg Young. I'm joined by uh, Walter Case Jr. who held on with Gallo Blue Chip to win the Battle of Lake Erie, tying the all-time track record of 151 flat and uh, setting a new track record for older geldings, of course. Walter, uh, boy, your buddy David Hawk uh, nearly stole this one from you in the stretch. Yeah, I was pretty concerned the last turn. David's horse was just charging and... Uh, my horse is looking for the wire, but uh, he's got a lot of guts, and uh, he got me there. Now, uh, you said earlier you were going to leave with this horse. You knew you'd get stung. General Matarther let you go, but not until you hit the quarter in 26 and 1. Uh, after that fraction, do you think you could hold on? Oh, I didn't know. That was a brutal quarter here on a half-mile track, 26 and 1. I was hoping to get a little more of a breather, 
But uh, these days, when you go a quarter in 28-2, second quarter, that's a breather. And a uh, horse of this caliber, that's all he needs. And Abba Dabba Do, a horse that has beaten Gala Blue Chip at the Meadowlands, he looked you in the eye at the three quarters. Looked like he might be in some real trouble there. Intrepid Sealster was creeping up as well. But this horse, that's why he was horse of the year last year. He dug in. Believe me, this horse was all heart and guts in the last turn. He was dead tired. But uh, that's why he was horse of the year. He, he knew where the finish line is, and uh, you know, that's why he's uh, one of the richest horses of all time. Yeah, he's uh, now over uh, $3 million in purses, will soon be the richest pacer in the history of harness racing. Mark Ford, Gallo Blue Chip's regular trainer, he went to the uh, catch trainer, Kelly O'Donnell, tonight, as you did with On the Attack earlier in the year, but everyone knows this is uh, truly your horse. Thanks for bringing him out. It's sure nice to win one of these close finishes, I guess, huh? He's, he's, it's been a tough, tough year for him. I mean, we've, you know, he's raced good every start, but you know, when you draw the outside and uh, races on a mile track, you have to go, and a lot of times it doesn't work out. But this is a nice bunch of horses here, and and, and you know, if we were just hoping to, you know, as silly as it might sound, as long as he got money, I would have been happy. So, you know, he's had a tough, tough year, and uh, he's due for some time off. So, maybe. Uh, Maybe you'll sleep good tonight anyway. <laughs> yeah, do you think he's a little off the top of his game after the U.S. Pacing Championship Breeders' Crown where he was really roughed up? Well, you know, it, it, it takes its toll on any of them. And, you know, those are older horses, and he's still a four-year-old. But uh, he, he couldn't have raced any better all year, you know, with the kind of trips he's got. So, you know, I just hope maybe we can rest him up a little bit. We, we were thinking about going to uh, Hoosier Park next week, but uh, that's uh, sort of on the fence. And... We just want to get a couple more starts in him and then uh, <laughs> come back in the next year. Looking forward to breaking the all-time earnings record, though, probably very soon. Very much so, and maybe some more after that. All right. Well, luckily, he's a gelding, so hopefully we'll see him back here again next year, right? Well, I hope so. I like to... <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Mark Ford owns this winter circle the last few years, and Walter Case, you've been here a few times as well. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations to owner Martin Shelf as well and all the connections of Gala Blue Chip. 